uplifting your spirit through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional. To be like Jesus, submit to God's training process. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest he also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Second Peter 3, 17 and 18. There are some who desire to be a ruling power and who need the sanctification of the submission God brings about a change in their lives and, perhaps, places before them duties that they would not choose if they are willing to be guided by Him. He will give them grace and strength to perform the objectionable duties in a spirit of submission and helpfulness. They are being qualified to fill places where their disciplined abilities will make them of the greatest service. God trains some by bringing to them disappointment and apparent failure. It is his purpose that they shall learn to master difficulty. He inspires them with a determination to make every apparent failure prove a success. Often men and women pray and weep because of the perplexities and obstacles that confront them. But if they will hold the beginning of their confidence steadfast unto the end, he will make their way clear. Success will come to them as they struggle against apparently insurmountable difficulties, and with success will come the greatest joy. Many are ignorant of how to work for God, not because they need to be ignorant, but because they are not willing to submit to his training process. Moab is spoken of as a failure because the word declares he had been at ease from his youth and had not been emptied from vessel to vessel. Therefore, his taste remain in him and his scent is not changed. Jeremiah 48, 11. The Christian is to be prepared for the doing of a work that reveals kindness, forbearance, long-suffering, gentleness, patience, the cultivation of these precious gifts is to come into the disciplined life of Christians, that when called to service by the Master, they may be ready to exercise the energies of heart and mind in helping and blessing those who are ready to die, those who need salvation. To be like Jesus, March 5th. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Thank you all for listening and please join us once again tomorrow for your daily devotional reading. God bless.